Shalom Aleichem and Baruchim Habayim. Moshe Linyaru here speaking under the auspices of Kolel Baruch Avat Yisrael in Southern California and Sharetzion in Brooklyn, New York. This week we will be reading Parshat, really a double Parsha, Matot and Maseh. Also, we have a special Haftarah from the book of Yermiyahu, Jeremiah, because we are in the three weeks, the three weeks prior to the fast of Tisha B'Av from the second week. Can I ask you a question? When I have a primary ideal and I make it secondary, that's a bad thing. If I have a secondary concept and I make it primary, that's also bad. Which is worse? So I want to tell you that really the answer is quite simple. It's the exact same thing. When I take the primary and it is no more primary to me, the secondary moves up and becomes the primary. Why do I ask this question? Because I have a feeling that this is what was the problem of the tribe of Reuven and Gad. But Israel had just conquered a massive piece of land, and that land was perfect for herding, for shepherding. And B'nai God and B'nai Ruven had tremendous flocks, very wealthy. And they came to Moshe requesting this land. Now, when they came to Moshe, they said, can we have this land? And Moses was upset. He says, no, you have to go fight with the rest of your brethren to conquer the whole land of Israel. He said, sure, we will do that. We'll send an army. We'll send men. But we want this piece of property. We want to start settling it now. We will build pens for our animals and cities for our children. And Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, our teacher, reprimanded them. He said, no, no, no. You have it all wrong. Build cities for your children and pens for your animals. Know what is the most important part of your life, your families, not your wealth. Your wealth is a tool to keep your families happy, well-fed, and healthy. But the primary goal of a human being, especially of a Jew, is to make sure that his family grows and is educated in the ways of God. My friends, we see it so often that people worry about their wealth, their physical well-being, and forget about their spiritual well-being. But sometimes they even forget about their family. And if I could tell you a story, which I remember vaguely, happened maybe 30 years ago, that a power couple, very successful in their line of business, they were maybe workaholics, came home one Friday night late in the evening to a horrific sight in the bathroom their son had committed suicide and when I read the article in the paper the parents said everything we did was for our son we made sure he had the best clothes the best schooling yes it's true but they didn't have a love and a connection with their son. For Friday night, they come home 11 o'clock at night 
and probably that was the norm. And when did they even show their love for their child outside of buying, buying him things that he may not really have needed? My friends, let us make a self-inventory to see what really is important in our life. And not like B'nai Gad and B'nai Ruvain who thought that their animals were so important that they had to make pens and stables and barns for them. Then they would take care of their children. No. Let us know what's important in our life and work for those means. And then what is secondary, we can take care of. Is that Hashem, if we have that type of mindset, we surely will come to the Gula very soon. Shabbat Shalom.